Hi, my name is Raj. Hi, my name is Damien. So today we are going to discuss how the how the phase transformation is done in uh, MOS2 and other TMD materials using the process of lithium intercalation. So first Damien is going to explain the chemistry behind it and then I'm going to take over and explain how the phase transformation is done using patterning. Okay, so it's a two-step process. So the first step we're going to do the lithiation of uh, our TMD. So here we're going to uh, show, for example, with uh, molybdenum disulfide MOS2. So the first step is to lithiate this material. So for this we use a reducing agent, which is uh, butyl lithium, and we react. So we soak our uh, MOS2 uh, flakes, uh, they put on uh, SiO2, silicon dioxide wafer, and we soak it in a solution of butyl lithium in hexane. And after a certain amount of time that, uh, that is desired, then we uh, stop the reaction and we wash with hexane. So when we wash, we're going to end up with lithiated MOS2 and we can remove the subproduct using hexane. So in the, during this uh, lithiation step, we start with uh, flakes of MOS2 that have this uh, 2H structure that is known to be semiconducting. So 2H means that the coordination of the, the transition metals, the, of the molybdenum atoms, is a trigonal prismatic coordination. And as we reduce the material using the beta lithium, we're going to um, increase the density of electrons on the d orbital and that will favor the, this uh, 1T phase of MOS2 that is known to be metallic and this 1T phase is uh, correspond to uh, octahedral wall coordination for the, the, the transient metal. In the second step we're going to wash this uh, lithiated MOS2 uh, to remove the lithium cations. So we start with the material, this lithiated MOS2 that is uh, called LXMOS2 and we're going to wash with water that is a good solvent to remove these uh, lithium cations and during this washing process we're going to remove we're going to exchange the lithium for uh, protons and uh, we remove the lithium in the form of lithium hydroxide I'm going to explain how we're going to pattern the 1T phase on the 2H MOS2 flake so the first step over here is to identify the MOS2 flake on the substrate on which we want to do the patterning so after we identify the flake we're gonna coat it with a resist. So we coat here with an E-beam resist which is PMMA because we're gonna do E-beam lithography to pattern the flake. So what I wanted to do over here is uh, pattern the edges of this flake to the 1D phase. So what I'm gonna do is remove the polymer at the edges. Now if we want to convert the whole flake to the 1D phase what we can do is we can have the polymer at the edge and we can remove the polymer all over the flake. Polymer does two functions here. One function is to hold the flake on the substrate and it will help it from staying on the flake during the washing process. And another is that it acts as the mask. So now we react, the, we soak the sample in the butyl lithium and as Damien explained, it, the exposed regions will get converted to the 1D phase. The next step is to just remove the polymer so that we have this kind of structure. Now we're going to show you the experimental demonstration of how we convert the 2H from 2H phase to the 1T phase. So first we're going to go to the optical microscope and find the flake that we want to work on. And then uh, we're going to go to the glove box and uh, put the sample in the butyl lithium for the conversion. After that it will be followed by washing with hexane to remove the butyl content and then washing with water to remove the lithium. And then again we'll go to the optical microscope and find the flake which is converted. This is the sample on which we have the MOS2 flakes transferred. These are the CVD MOS2 flakes. We're going to convert areas of these flakes onto uh, to the 2H uh, to the 1T phase. They are presently in the 2H phase, and we're going to uh, we put we covered it with the polymer, and then we patterned areas on which we want to convert it to the 1T phase. I'm going to show this sample in the optical microscope for you. These are the optical microscope images of the flakes, as I explained in uh, in the methodology that I did uh, in the methodology. Uh, the whole sample is covered with the PMMA, and only the region that we want to convert to the 1T phase is uh, exposed. So here everything is uh, polymer, and uh, this region the polymer has been removed for two flakes. There is another region on the same sample, and uh, again we are going to work on these two flakes. Everything is covered with the polymer and these regions are opened. So these will be treated with the butyl lithium and the, and the exposed regions will be reacted and they will be converted to the 1T phase. 
So now our sample and the butyl lithium are in the glove box and this is the sample that we are working with so the, and this is the chemical that we are going to use, it's the N-butyl lithium which is 1.6 molar in concentration. We are going to take a 5 ml of butyl lithium using a very clean syringe, 5 ml approximately, the, the chemical has to fill into the vial and uh, enough amount should be there so that the substrate soaks into the vial. Send amount of the chemical, the sa the sample will be fully soaked if we have this much amount of chemical. So we slowly pick up the sample with a clean tweezer and uh, very carefully we dip it into the chemical. And then we close the vial. And uh, since these are CVD moisture flakes, we uh, wait for the reaction to happen for uh, 48 hours so it's been 48 hours since the sample has been in the butyl lithium so what we're gonna do now is uh, take out the sample from butyl lithium and wash it with hexane so this is a bottle of clean hexane clean pure hexane um, so we're gonna take out the sample carefully from butyl lithium and uh, clean it with this hexane So I carefully grab the sample with uh, this tweezer and make sure that uh, I hold the sample very carefully so that I don't accidentally drop it. And then I carefully put it in the hexane and slowly shake it in order to clean the sample very very well. So hexane cleaning removes the butyl content in the in the mid in the MOS2. So it has to be perfectly done and at the same time very carefully done. And then I uh, wait for the hexane to dry off. So I shake the sample like that and wait for wait for it to dry. So the sample should look very very clean. It should not have any white stains on it. And then, uh, so now the sample is ready to be taken out of the glove box. So now the sample is out of the glove box. So what we need to do is wash with water to remove the excess lithium. And then we'll blow dry with uh, clean air. So it's very important to hold the sample firmly here. So just hold it by the edges and then very slowly and carefully washed with water. So this removes the excess lithium in the MOS2 present and then we blow dry with air. 
So we are done with the lithium intercalation process and the washing process with hexane and water. So now we have to look at the sample through the optical microscope to look at our flicks. So here, so these are the optical images. This was the image that I uh, that we showed earlier before doing anything to the flakes, and uh, we did the lithium intercalation, and then we washed with hexane, and then we washed with water, and these are the images taken after the after all the process. So we can see that the flakes are still intact, but these exposed regions are now converted to the one T phase, and uh, we can see that the whole surface is still clean. The two images actually look similar, but uh, this exposed region has been uh, has been uh, treated with the butyl lithium, and hence we have the phase converted material now. These are the other two flakes that we worked with on the same sample. Uh, these images are taken before doing any any processing, and uh, this these are the images taken after the lithium intercalation and all the washing. So you can see that the flakes are still present at. Uh, still present and they are very nicely cleaned up so this this is the 2h flake and this is the 1t flake uh, of course the unexposed regions are still in the 2h phase but this exposed region is converted to the 1t phase today we've shown you how to uh, recreate mys2 and how to uh, wash carefully the sample and preserving the flakes on the on the substrate if you have any questions, please contact us. Our information is in our group website, narrowtubesdeadproductors.edu. You can find our contact information there. Thank you very much.